Okay, question six. This is more of a conceptual question and related to constant acceleration kinematics. You have a braking test, which a car drives with velocity v and applies the brakes, travels the distance d as it's braking. In the second test, the same car drives with velocity 2v and it applies the brakes and acceleration the same both tests as far as the car travel. So we're sort of looking at how does the distance d or the braking distance d a scale or vary with the initial velocity. That's what the conceptual question is trying to, to get to. So we can write an equation that relates the initial velocity to the final, uh, to the distance traveled in the braking test um, as follows. Uh, so we know that Bf squared equals Bi squared plus 2a dot x. So in the case where the braking test and the object is coming to rest after traveling distance d, the final speed will be equal to zero. So vi squared will be equal to um, negative 2a delta x, or I can write that uh, delta x will be equal to vi squared divided by negative 2a. Now if, this is an if the initial velocity is positive and the object is slowing down, this a will be negative, because a would have to oppose the sign of the initial velocity to slow down. So this negative times a negative a will give you a positive delta x. But what's important here in this particular question is knowing that the de distance delta x traveled is proportional to the square of the initial velocity, assuming again the final velocity is zero, and we're assuming in both cases the acceleration is the same. So I can state that the delta x is proportional to vi squared, which is again thinking about scaling from the first question and thinking about uh, how does it distance squared. So if the second car doubles its initial uh, velocity for applies the brakes, then the distance uh, delta x traveled um, will have to basically uh, quadruple because the delta x scaled with vi squared. Um, so the, uh, the delta x in the second test would have to be equal to four times the delta x in the first test, which is four times d because of this relationship here, that the delta x will scale with the initial velocity squared. So if we double the velocity from v to 2v, the distance traveled is um, has to be four times as far, which of course is very important even for to consider uh, when driving that doubling the speed is not uh, double the braking distance, but actually quadruples the braking distance, assuming that the acceleration of the car is constant. So that gives us choice D is the correct answer.